The next one is titled, how do you politely decline family asking to borrow money? My, hu my husband and I are pretty well off, more so than my family. If there happened to be an emergency, I definitely wouldn't mind helping, but I absolutely hate being asked to borrow money. It makes me feel awkward and uncomfortable. My cousin is a single mom, which I know can't be easy. She works a full-time job and sometimes does Uber Eats when she needs extra money. She texted me probably two months ago and asked to borrow 40 bucks and she'd give it back to me on her payday which was Wednesday. Wednesday rolled around and she didn't mention it by 8 p.m. So I texted her and asked and she said she forgot and she sent it immediately. For me, if I ever asked anyone for money, it's just something I wouldn't let myself forget. Today, another text rolled in asking if she could borrow 30 bucks until payday. I tried to avoid the text hoping she would ask someone else, but she didn't. I told her I would and asked her to just shoot me a text when she sent it back. I... When she, uh, when she sends the money back, that is. I don't think she would just not pay me back, but I don't like feeling like a bank because I have done well for myself. I'm very frugal with my money myself, so it's rare that I even just drop 30 to 40 bucks anyways. What are some non-confrontational ways to say no? I don't want to be passive aggressive or just straight up tell her no or anything like that. It just all makes me uncomfy. Money is a huge source of conflict in the majority of relationships and also in the majority of families, kind of for reasons like this, but I think this is a very individual circumstance that I probably wouldn't put under the same umbrella as just money problems. This is a very, very... <laughs> OP gives the impression that her cousin, her cousin is a single mom, she works a full-time job. She also works extra for Uber Eats when she needs extra money. So as far as we can tell from the story here, the cousin is a pretty hardworking mother who is trying to make ends meet and she's really struggling and she's living paycheck to paycheck. And that's why she says, hey, I've you know just got, gotten to the end of the month and I have this one bill coming in and I can't quite afford that bill. So I need just a little bit of money to get my next paycheck and then I'll figure it out and so on. Now, that's one aspect to it where I would say if I care about my cousin at all, I would never have a problem with helping under those circumstances and I would probably see if I could help her beyond that in a non-monetary way as well because the money is one aspect of it, but the actual lifestyle and the stress of it and trying to maintain a good, healthy, happy home for your children under those circumstances is very difficult and probably you, you need some help in your life and you need people on your side. That's one aspect to it. The other aspect to it is that of course no one is actually entitled to your money and it's f completely within your rights to say no. I don't think it's that complicated to say no. Um, if I were faced with the exact same situation that OP has here, because she's asking to borrow minuscule amounts like $40 or $30, neither of those are... Uh, uh, an unbelievable amount of money that's going to really take me back a lot. So I would probably say here, I'll give her a couple of, a couple hundred bucks and let it go. And then if she asked again, I would try and give her a little bit extra again. And then maybe the, the second or the third time that she asks, I'd be like, look, this is the most money that I have available for you. I won't be able to help you out with money anymore, but if there's anything else that you can do, um, any other way that I could help you out, then just let me know. I'm really happy to do that. And then, ta-da, that's it. There is this point where just having a little bit of generosity towards the people in your family is a good thing. And you should only do that, of course, if you can afford to do it. If you can't afford to do it, then I would just honestly say, I would love to help you. And I'm happy to help you out in other ways, but I'm afraid I just can't spare the money right now. And that's also completely fine. That's completely within your rights. Whatever way you decide to do it is up to you. But I would try to approach it from this angle of what kind of help can I offer this person who seems to be struggling, who's in my family? And what, how generous can I afford to be? And generosity without limits is not great because at some point you, the people in your circle will start exploiting that and that's not good and not healthy for them either. You also don't want her, you don't want to enable her in terms of if she is one of those people who just wastes a lot of money and you think that she's not making good choices with, with the money that you give her, then you don't want to enable that and that's completely fair and you can also say that as well, just upfrontly. 
the thing that I think is a little bit sad about this whole thing is that OP here is, is a little bit stingy unbelievably stingy in terms of hey I'm gonna give you 40 bucks you're gonna give me the money back on Wednesday if you don't give it back to me exactly on Wednesday then I will text you and call you and find out why you haven't given me that money back and you should immediately send it back that's um that's a little bit intense that's probably not how I would approach it I would be fine waiting a few days I'd be fine waiting a couple of weeks um, if it seems that she can't afford to give it back, I'd also be like, yeah, okay, you, you she can keep that. But the next time she asks, I would say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really, uh, I really just can't help you out with money right now. And that's it. And th th there's no reason to have any other conflict around it. I think it's, I understand why being asked to give money to people is awkward and uncomfortable. But honestly, I do think in the majority of cases, unless you build, unless you turn it into a habit where you always give money to people, um, I think in the majority of situations, people do need the help and they wouldn't ask if they didn't. So non-confrontational ways to say no, just say no. It's not that complicated, but also maybe try to be a little bit more generous and a little bit less stingy. It's not, not a good look. And see some of the comments. One person says, as a suggestion, this is the last time I'll be able to send you money because I have my own family to provide for. Something to that effect, just nicer. I don't. I honestly don't think you even need to give a reason for it. You can literally just say, hey, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't spare the money right now. And that's it. Um, I've learned from a boundary coach to just say no and not give an explanation or simply saying, unfortunately, I can't and leaving it at that. It's definitely hard and uncomfortable. I think that it's hard to say no only for as long as you're not offering anything else. Uh, so if you come at it from the angle of, hey, I'm sorry, I can't help you out with money, but if there's anything else I could do for you, I'm, I'm happy to help out, then it sounds a lot softer, right? And obviously you should mean that. If you don't want to help out with anything else, if you're not willing to help out in any other way, then don't make an offer. But I would, generally speaking, be very open to helping out with my time or helping out with food or whatever else, um, even if I can't help out with money on a regular basis. Uh, and then you get to all of the people who recognize <laughs> exactly how much money she's asking for here. Here's one person who's, who says, maybe this will be an unpopular opinion, but I would gladly give a family member 70 bucks in two to three months if they needed it. My cousin was 400 short on rent and I gladly gave her the money. We aren't even well off. We just believe that no one should suffer in our family. Exactly. Like if, if it's family and someone's really struggling, then of course, especially for tiny amounts of money like this, it's hard for me to think of a circumstance in which I would really have a problem with giving it to them. Unless I was really sorry. Like maybe if we say I'm well off, if I'm really struggling with money myself, then that, that kind of answers itself. But if I'm not, then come on, it's not a big deal. Um, one person says here, I can relate to this. I've told my whole family no when I finally had enough of being used. They only came around when they needed something or money. Then I started saying I can't today, then moved to I just can't give you money. They stopped talking to me, including my parents. Only talked to one sibling. She only talks to one sibling. And once she's asked... And she, she's asked and I lended her money and she tried asking again and I said no. She's still around, hasn't asked again. Sometimes you have to say no. If they respect you, if they respect your answer, they will understand. Don't make it a habit for her to ask you every time. Then 40 will turn to 400 and so on. And that sounds like an utterly depressing and very, very sad situation. Uh, if your relationship with your parents or other people in your family is dependent on you providing things for them, whether money or otherwise. But so long as you say no uh, and you stand by that, that's also fine. I think this this is 100% the risk of turning something into a habit when it shouldn't be one. And the idea of not being able to say no is just really, un it, it's not that hard. Now, this person, which is actually quite a harsh statement, but I want to end on it because I think it kind of makes a really good point. She says, as a foster parent, I've wondered how things go so wrong in someone's village and extended family that when things go sideways for a child, they end up with total strangers. I can't imagine a situation where I wouldn't open my home to our cousin's kids or even second cousin's kids if something happened and they needed a safe place to go. If anyone in our family needed help and we could give it, we would in a heartbeat. And I'm confident that my kids would never not be with family if something happened to us. But posts like yours 
help me understand. Imagine being pretty well off and not lending your own cousin $30 that you are sure she'll pay back. Damn. Now, I think this is a little bit over the top. I think this is suggesting a little bit too much bad will to OP than is necessary. But you can definitely see this, really this aspect of generosity and how you define generosity for yourself and to what extent you can be generous and compassionate during times of hardship for other people when you're doing pretty well. And there's obviously a point here where you try to understand, okay, what are the, what are the limitations? When does generosity turn into something else? But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't aspire to be generous as much as you can under the right circumstances for you and, and for your family. And I think it is a little bit sad that we've ended up in this kind of situation where you can say, hey, <laughs> my cousin is a single mom. She's really struggling. She's living paycheck to paycheck. And she asked me for a little bit of help. And I said yes once. And now she's asking me again. And I want to say no. But you couldn't just... You, the bare minimum that you could do is simply give her a hundred bucks and say, all right, look, that's the most money that I can give you for a while. I hope that that helps you out. And if you need anything else, let me know. And that's, that's okay. The moment that you are just a little bit, like you give just a little bit more than, ex is, than is expected or asked of from you, but then you still draw a line for yourself, then you're, you're kind of living the best of both worlds. And I don't know why you wouldn't do that. I'm a little bit... <laughs> I feel a little bit bad for OP here because the comments really dragged her for this one, but maybe it will also give her a little bit of perspective and a different idea about what the right way to treat your family members should be if you can afford to do it. 